Hello everyone and welcome to Lick Library. My name is Lee Fuge and in this video today we're going to be checking out four classic iconic status quo riffs. We're going to be reacting to them, talking about why they're great riffs and learning how to play them. We're going to be talking about riffs from Down Down, Rockin' All Over the World, Caroline and Paper Playing. Obviously there are a ton of great status quo riffs out there so if there's any you think I've missed off this list throw them down below in the comments. Each of the riffs I talk about and react to is timestamped down below in the description, so you can scroll down and hit the timestamp to your favorite riff as well and fast forward to that section. All right, so the first riff we're gonna check out is from the track Down Down. Now you'll notice there's a capo on my guitar at the fourth fret. So my guitar is currently tuned to open G tuning. So low to high, that's D, G, D, G, B, D. This is a tuning that Quo use a lot. This particular track has a capo on at the fourth fret as well. So the open G tuning is a big part of the status quo guitar sound. If you want to learn to play like status quo, there's a link in the top corner of this video you can hit and check out a video I made on the habits and guitar styles of status quo. So let's dive into the track Down Down. This is a great riff. I love this riff. So he's using sixths there against the open strings. So that's actually something I talked about a lot in the video I made on the Quo guitar style is how to use sixths against the open chords. So when we play all the strings open in this tuning, it gives us a G major chord. We can use the sixths on top of that to create something quite melodic sounding. The riff I wrote for that video was actually based on the riff from Down Down. So this one, we're using the same kind of concept but obviously we've got the capo at the fourth fret. So we've got our open chord here. So we'll just ignore the lowest string for now and we'll just play from what was our A string down. So that's kind of our chord that is throughout this riff. What we're then doing is we're adding some sixths on top. So the ones we're using here are the third on the D and the third on the B, like so. The second on the D and the first on the B. The fifth on the D and B. And then the next one isn't quite a sixth, it's a slightly different interval, putting the, keeping that fifth there on the D, but dropping to the third on the B. So it's quite a loose riff, we're going from that three to the two and the one, and the five to the five and three. First part again. Then we're putting this little flick on. That's quite a typical quote thing we're doing, those three quick strums. Hitting that five and three together is the sixth there, or the sixth style interval, it's not quite a sixth. And then playing the open string four times. So as I mentioned in the Quo Habits video, that's a really cool way to add some melodic movements to a riff. So what we're essentially playing is this chord, and then on top of what we've got those kind of melody lines that we can use. So we could write something with that as well. We could be playing something and just kind of moving those sixth patterns there and just creating different sounds. It's a really effective way to get some really interesting sounds. There's a little bit of Keith Richards in there as well because, again, the Stones would often play in open G tuning, as would the Quo. It's great for those kind of bluesy, swaggery riffs, and this is a great riff to learn for that kind of purpose. All right, the capo's gone now, still in open G tuning, and we're going to check out the riff from the track Rockin' All Over the World. This is pretty much as iconic as it gets when it comes to Quo riffs, so let's check this one out. This is pretty much the gold standard, you know. This is the quo song everyone knows. Okay, so again, it's a great shuffle riff. Good kind of solid, really tight. I've always played this one from the fifth fret of what is now my G and my D. Using that status quo style shuffle, again, 
spoke about that in great depth over in that Quo Style and Habits video. Now you can play this in OpenG as I'm doing there, but evidently from the video we've just watched, they're actually playing that in standard tuning. So I'm going to swap now to a standard tuned guitar, and then we'll check this out in standard tuning. Alright, so I've got a guitar now in standard tuning. It's not quite a Telecaster. The Quo, obviously, are big Telecaster players. But rather than retune and make you guys wait, I thought we'd just dive straight back in. So what we're playing here is that Quo style shuffle in the key of C. So obviously we're rooting here from the 8th fret of the low E string. We're doing our power chord here on the 8 and the 10. And then our little finger is going to be playing that 12th fret of the A string. That's the 6th interval that makes this the C5 to the C6 power chords. <laughs> Inside this riff there's a little slide as well from the B, so it's kind of a cool movement into the C. Great kind of bluesy shuffle riff there. In our own playing, we can use that to great effect. Now you'll notice I was down picking that whole thing. So if you want to write a really kind of driving bluesy rock song, you can take that kind of typical 12 bar style and use that quo influence there. Keep it kind of punchy and choppy by down picking everything. Keep everything short and tight. The third one we're gonna check out is from the track Caroline. This one's also standard tuning. And again, it's kind of like the last riff in that it is that 12 bar blues kind of idea but it's a little bit faster and a bit more aggressive. So let's check this one out. So the first thing you'll notice here is the sheer speed in his picking hand. Look at that aggression. He's really digging in on the strings as he plays it. You can see how kind of passive that attack is on those strings. It's a simple riff. He's playing it very high up the neck. But it's a very simple riff. It's 12 bar blues progression, but he's he's getting stuck in there with that. I mean that is again very typically quo. So we're doing that typical 12 bar blues thing, but this time we're from the F note, so the 13th fret of the low E string, the 15th fret of the A. Then we're using our little finger to go to the 17th of the A and the 18th. So it's quite a fast, kind of aggressive bluesy riff. So we're playing that power chord twice, but we're accenting the first hit, and the second hit's slightly quieter. Then we're playing the 17 with our little finger, which we're accenting, and then going back to the first chord. 18, so a bit of a stretch there, and 17. And again, notice I'm down picking it all because that just helps with that kind of aggressive tight sound that the quo have. One of the biggest things we can learn from that riff is our ability to accent and also to down pick at speed because it is quite fast. We're kind of going into what would be kind of punk rock guitar kind of territories there in terms of that down picking speed. It's not something we usually do in blues rock, but this particular song definitely hits on the harder edge of that. So the down picking is essential for the quo. We can alternate pick it, but it loses some of that drive. <laughs> When we down pick it, it's got a bit more of a directional thing, it's a bit more urgent feeling. And it's a bit easier to get those accents locked in when we down pick it as well. The final riff we're going to check out is the intro riff for the track Paper Play, and this is my personal favourite quo riff, so let's check this one out. So again, it's got that top bar blue element. But there's a little rundown at the start of it. So this riff's played in the key of B flat, so we're starting here at the 6th fret of the low E string. We're actually doing a bit more of a typical blue shuffle in this one rather than the quo kind of thing. This one's a bit more what we expect a blue shuffle to be like versus the quo's kind of choppy approach to that. Now the other cool thing with this riff is the rundown before that. 
So we've got six and five on the A string and eight on the E. That kind of acts as like a pickup bar into the one beat. So that kind of comes in on the end of three. So if you imagine our four count, one, two, three, and four and. And that sets us into our first bar. Now that little rundown continues to appear through the rest of the riff as well in the same place. So when we get to the end of our fourth bar, it appears again before they go back to the first bar. So the official one beat actually falls on the chord, not on the run. It would be and four and one. And that's where our shuffle would start. So the real tricky thing with this riff is going from that rundown into that power chord because there's a little bit of a position shift there. So we're landing on the eighth of the low E either with our third finger or our little finger. And then we've got to change our hand into that chord. So that can be quite tricky, but it's a great rock riff. That one has always been one of my favorite riffs from the Quo, mainly because it's slightly different to the normal. I mean, when we think of the Quo, we always think of that kind of bluesy shuffle. I quite like that they've gone with a bit more of a traditional approach for this, but with that run. That kind of sets it up nicely for me. It's just a, quite a fun riff. I always enjoy the sound of this riff. So there you go. There are four classic status quo riffs, what I think of them and how to play them. Let me know what you think. Was your favorite status quo riff included in this list? If not, let me know down below in the comments what your favorite riff is and why you like that riff and also what you think you can learn from that riff as well. The Quo are definitely a no-nonsense rock and roll band. They're not the most technical band. We're not going to get anything too crazy from them. We kind of know what we're getting when we hear the Quo, but what we do get is really good, and it's always that kind of feel-good, upbeat rock and roll music that they deliver so well. What I do find with the Quo, and this is probably the biggest takeaway for me as a listener to their music, is the sheer stamina you actually need to play through songs of theirs, because when we think of their sound, we don't think of it as being overly technical. But this hand is getting a real workout because we're really kind of pushing hard on that picking. It's down-picked really hard, really fast, really aggressively. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff to be learned with the Quo. Thank you so much for watching this video on these classic Quo riffs. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you've learned some of these riffs and used them for your own development as well. If you do want to take your playing to that next level, head over to licklibrary.com, sign up, and check out the library of lessons. There's a huge array of great content over there that will take you from total beginner right through to some more advanced stuff as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the Lick Library YouTube channel. If you enjoy this video and videos like this, there's plenty more content very similar to this on the channel as well. So please check that out and let us know if there's any artists you'd like to see us reacting to the riffs of in these type of videos as well. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you guys very soon.